Mm hmm. Very nice. Very good. I think that this, what you just said, can be quite tricky to figure out at first to recognize that what we have here are melanocytes, these bigger plump cells, and then the dark, small dark cells are the lymphocytes. And sometimes, because as you guys know, in nevi, sometimes the uh, nevus cells, the type B nevus cells, as some people call them, are lymphocyte-like. They're small and dark and round. They, at close look, they do actually look different from lymphocytes, but but at lower power, they can look very similar to lymphocytes. Um, here, the cells are more kind of the plump epithelioid type A melanocytes, so they look plumper. They uh, though you could have a really hard time telling these apart from histiocytes. If you just showed me this picture, I honestly, I would have probably thought these were histiocytes if I didn't know anything else and just had this picture and you said, what are these? I'd probably say it's like lymphocytes and histiocytes. So it can be quite hard to tell um, at first unless you begin to see nests. And in this case, I think there is some nesting in here. Some of these probably are histiocytes too, but, but there are... Um, um, uh, melanocytes in there and then also if you go out to the periphery of the lesion you can sometimes see maybe it's the other side you can see the the melanocyte nesting a little better there it is see the nest there so yeah when you get a nevus that has a dense um, mixed in lymphocytes that is uh, I would probably just sign this out as a nevus with brisk inflammation but uh, based on the clinical, oftentimes nevi like this have a halo of depigmentation around them. So we call this halo nevus or halo nevus phenomenon. Um, usually though, like I said, I sign it out as nevus with brisk inflammation. And if you told me that was a halo, I would say that the brisk inflammation corresponds to the halo uh, phenomenon seen clinically. All right. But in, in um, uh, when we're teaching, we just call this halo nevus. I will also point out, we, we usually see these in you know, kids or teenagers, young adults. Um, I do get more worried in an older patient if I see a lot of inflammation in a melanocytic lesion. It doesn't necessarily mean it's malignant, but it means I'm going to stop and look closer. In younger people, though, this is pretty common. Um, and a couple things one that my mentor, Doug Parker, pointed out to me that the inflammation is very dense and it's very even, right? It's evenly distributed here, not really patchy. And there's not, for some reason, there's not much fibrosis with it. So even though nevi can regress, when we see halo nevi, it, they don't seem to result in that uh, dense uh, regression-like uh, scar-like collagen, um, so at least uh, the ones that I've seen. So if we saw patchy inflammation and regression-like areas, that may make us stop and get more, more concerned here, okay? Uh, and then the other thing, oh, here you can see some nests and melanocytes in here a little better. These are better melanocytes up here. The other thing I'll point out is that these, maybe it's just because these are often in younger patients, but I feel like almost always when I see halo nevi, they have plump cells. Um, they often have bridging. They often, if you would take the inflammation away, they look almost like a moderate, moderately atypical dysplastic nevus, I guess, um, if, if you're into that sort of thing. Some people don't grade dysplastic nevi uh, for understandable reasons, but that's way outside the scope of what we're talking about today. So, um, so don't, to me, if I see moderate, kind of plump atypia in these, I do not worry about that at all. I feel like that is, I don't know if the inflammation causes that or if it's because they're young people and young people usually have kind of larger melanocytes in their nevi. I'm not sure what it is, but I would say that it's a, a feature that's almost always present. Oh, look, and there's one mitosis. Well, that's okay. For one thing, I don't know if that mitosis is an, infl an inflammatory cell or a melanocyte. And even still, we see a single mitosis in nevi regularly, honestly, if you look really carefully. Uh, there have been studies that say like if you look at a bunch of nevi uh, and carefully study them, you'll find a mitosis in like, I think it's like 25 or maybe even 30%. Um, so it's uh, one mitosis does not make melanoma, okay? Halo nevus. Oh, and if you do like a MART1 uh, or an immunostain, it can make it much more obvious that there's a nice structured, organized melanocytic lesion hiding in all this inflammation. It's kind of hard to evaluate, uh, you know, architecture when it's also dense, right? So if you need, you can do a stain um, to see the melanocytes better.